That video was not Throughout it. my time here on YouTube, I've spent countless hours searching for dark, obscure Hi, content people. from all across the web. And out of all my morbid findings, only about 1% of them have actually been turned into videos. This happens for a few reasons. Like some of the Hello, material dude, being you. just too disturbing or too graphic to talk about. But mainly, it's because a lot of these topics I found don't really warrant a full video, at least not on my channel. So rather than just holding on to these topics forever, I decided to How's start a new ads? series here and share with you they all suck. the chilling internet content How's that I've ads? compiled throughout the Elmo years bugging. and will continue to compile for years to come. So join me in this new venture as we dive into Fuck the end, you'll decide the ultimate winner. And I'm hoping you just shouldn't see. I'm hoping this YouTuber doesn't It's been strike over me, 15 years since probably the won't. premiere of the now hit show <laughs> America's Got Talent, a competition program centered around finding the top He's entertainers well in the in country. School. But despite the show's huge popularity, Crazy. I was surprised that I hadn't heard about its upcoming spin-off, which was set to air fairly soon. The show is called AGT Extreme, which focuses solely on Daredevil I ads, am not American a premise that Julio. has subsequently caused a bit of a stir online, as having a competition focused on extreme stunts means that what people the will fuck? make things <laughs> What's this guy doing? Win, that was crazy. Which would lead to their performances getting riskier and riskier over time, pushing the envelope and heightening the danger. With this in mind, Terry Cruz. many critics have called out the show for how dangerous it could become. And as it turns out, even before the Hi. first episode has How made it to air, these critics may have already been proven right. On the 15th of October 2021, TMZ would publish an article outlining an incident that had recently happened on the set of the show. The accident supposedly involved 41-year-old Jonathan Goodwin, a man who had performed on AGT before, where he attempted other life-threatening challenges, all of which had gone off without a hitch. But this time was different. The article wrote, Jonathan Goodwin, a daredevil stuntman on the new America's Got Talent Extreme, suffered brutal injuries after a stunt he attempted went horribly wrong. And it was so bad, people on set thought he was dead. The article would then go on to explain the stunt that Jonathan had attempted to perform and how exactly it all went wrong. Goodwin what do you was mean? suspended 70 feet in the air in a straitjacket, hanging by his feet from a wire. Why do you unfold Two cars were suspended dark? on either side of him, swinging back and forth. The stunt was for Goodwin to free himself Kinda, from the restraints really and then fall on an air mattress Why and avoid getting crushed by the cars as they swung in the air. Then something went horribly wrong, and the cars smashed together, sandwiching Goodwin in between them. I'm the sorry. impact caused the cars to explode, erupting in a gigantic Dark fireball. Betrayals. Goodwin fell to the ground and hit his head. The article then mentions that Jonathan's exact conditions weren't known, but that his injuries had been incredibly severe, having to be airlifted to a nearby trauma unit. The scene described sounded absolutely crazy, as the stunt Goodwin had performed sounded unlike anything I've ever seen before. And following the release of this story, curious readers wanted to know more, as they wondered whether the ordeal was filmed, and if that footage would ever of get course. released. But according to the Thanks article, like, this had happened on the day of rehearsal, meaning that there was no live studio audience, and the cameras potentially weren't even rolling. And even nah, if the show had rolling. been filming, it seemed highly always. unlikely that they see. would ever choose I to release see. this footage. However, as it turns out, during the whole event, another camera had actually been recording on set that day, which just so happened to capture the entire thing. It's unclear who was behind the camera, though many believe that it was likely a staff member who had pulled out their phone to film the act. And somewhat unsurprisingly, just yes. days after the initial report, this very video would emerge, quickly spreading to practically every social so, media like, site across the internet. So, like, what was he trying to do here? Internet. He was trying to escape before the car swung at him, right? That was the goal? Oh, there's two. I wasn't paid. Oh, fuck. The oh. cars are then seen colliding what? together with extreme force, as Goodwin oh. is pinned between them. Bitch. At that exact moment, the pyrotechnics in Thanks, both Dark. vehicles go off, oh. causing a massive fuck. explosion. Jonathan would then collapse 40 feet to the ground below, falling headfirst. 
I mean, oh, the video fuck. is horrifying. <laughs> what the and it's fuck? easy to understand why people on set thought Goodwin had perished. As every time I watched, he didn't it, die. I couldn't imagine okay, how dark. anyone could survive such a devastating incident. But shockingly, Goodwin would actually regain oh. consciousness that very day. That's and despite suffering serious disturbing. injuries like two broken legs and burns throughout his body, How? he doesn't appear to be in critical condition will. anymore. As he's Burnt even taken to his Instagram page Twa. to let his fans know that he's going to be no, okay. And though his road to Yo, a full recovery Jonathan is clearly Crow. going to be That's crazy. it's still amazing to see him alive and in such good spirits. Yo. That's Following it. the news breaking on this story Insane. and the it's video finding like its Saw. way around the internet, America's Got Talent has halted production on the show, oh, and it's currently unclear this where it will go from here. Though if they do decide to carry on with its production, yeah, they I won't. personally find it likely that this won't be the last time we see an accident like this. I was not expecting- Dangling upside down, he wants to escape, and there's two fucking cars coming at him? Damn. Ah, I'd be done. Fuck. I'd be done. That's insane. Hi, YouTube. This is the last time Jack's gonna be seen so by. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's crazy. The wall we share. I think these Our are next just story short ones. takes us to an obscure Reddit post made back in September of 2020. The story was told on the Legal Advice subreddit, as the original poster, or OP, was seeking help on a situation transpiring with their neighbor. OP described the situation as follows. I live in a duplex with my husband and my son, who is only a few months old. My father-in-law owns half of the duplex and is renting to us, and the other half is owned These by an older woman and her ideas. adult daughter. My father-in-law has known the woman for over 15 years and told us before we moved in that the daughter was mentally ill and had strong delusions on occasion that caused trouble with the previous tenants. The last tenants apparently uh -huh. had to get a civil anti-harassment order placed against the daughter, but eventually moved out when the behaviors never stopped. Apparently, the neighbor accused them of kidnapping and abusing their children, as well as abusing their dogs. My husband and I brought our son home a few months ago, and we didn't have any issues with the neighbor until about two weeks ago. She has begun banging on and throwing things at the walls when our son cries. She screams at us as well, but I usually can't hear what she's actually saying, you know, over the screaming baby, and the two dogs going absolutely ballistic because of the banging. It's absolute chaos, and it made my postpartum anxiety so much worse. Every time the baby cries, I experience intense panic, waiting for the screaming and the banging to start. We have called the non-emergency so, police line twice fun. when the I neighbor? can't handle it anymore Sam. and I feel close to a meltdown. The neighbor is complaining because the kid's crying, I think. And the first time they talked to her and she stopped doing it as often, maybe once every two days. Tonight she is back and it is worse than ever. The air quality is so bad right now from the fires that I can't let the dogs out for long to stop them from barking. And the barking makes the baby cry harder, which makes the neighbor scream and pound on the walls harder. The officer I spoke with says that we can try to get a civil anti-harassment order placed, but he knew for a fact that her behaviors never stopped after Thank you, the dark. last tenants had tried that. And he says his unofficial advice would be to live somewhere else. Is that seriously my only option? We can't afford to move, but I can't keep living like this. The post was met with minimal engagement, as many glossed over the story, not thinking much of it, and those who did respond seemed to have a mixed reaction. Some actually sympathized with their neighbor, as sharing a wall with a screaming baby would obviously not be a fun situation, yeah, and especially but... for someone with a mental illness who seems to react negatively so to loud stimuli while others found the neighbor's response to be fairly worrisome, as it was clear that the behavior had been escalating. But whichever side these commenters took, they all seemed to be in agreement on one thing. one thing about, thing, like, online their... stuff is that it's always one-sided. Like, you never really hear the other side, right? Like, why is the lady freaking out? Is it because the other kid does it too? I don't know, man. There wasn't much OP could do, other than simply move out. And with that... The post quickly faded into obscurity with no resolution to be found, quickly Freaky being household. lost in the endless content yeah. of Reddit. But surprisingly, Thanks, the story wouldn't end there. In fact, nearly seven months later, an update would be made 
thrusting what was once an unknown story into the limelight. OP's first read update neighbor bangs on share duplex wall when baby cries my first post never got much attention but the outcome was pretty wild in october of 2020 my husband and i were renting a duplex where my father-in-law owned the half we lived in we brought our son home from the nicu in august and towards the end of september the neighbor 40 year old female started to pound on the shared wall if she could hear him cry the pounding escalated over the next two months. The neighbor bought a megaphone to yell through the wall and threatened to rip us apart. She called us child predators and she'd what? yell obscenities and threats until three or four in the morning. Why? The police were called That's multiple fine. times, That's... but they responded that nothing could be done about Same. it. One officer said, Nazi I'm going to kill you. Devoured. See, it doesn't mean anything if I don't actually do it. The elderly mother hadn't been seen in several months, but requests for wellness checks were brushed off. The general advice I got was that as renters, we couldn't do anything. Divorce. It was also suggested Divorce. that this was reasonable behavior, since the baby crying was probably really annoying. Since my first post, we moved in with my grandmother for our safety. The neighbor ended up busting a softball-sized hole through the shared wall Bestie. to scream at us Pepsi. and occasionally just even got stare Pepper. at us. The smell that came from that hole do was indescribably Chinese bad. Do. Our security cameras recorded her coming what? to my son's nursery window at around 2 a.m. almost daily, just staring and holding her okay. cat. That's a bit nuts. It took until the end of January like for police to finally be yaw. able to enter I do. her property. The elderly mother it's a, it's a, had been deceased no, since at least June, it's and the daughter had the DP corpse from, dressed uh, in her baby. Sunday best, no. rotting in a dead bolted bedroom. The news article said what? that the mother died from natural causes. I miss this. The daughter was taken to an inpatient psychiatric facility. Whoa, 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 whoa. Through the shared walls. What happened? Scream at us. I'm, what the fuck happened? I missed it. Us. The smell that came from that hole was indescribably bad. Our security cameras recorded her coming to my son's nursery window at around 2 a.m. Almost Wait, daily. What? Just staring and holding her cat. It took until the end of January for police to finally be able to enter her property. The elderly mother had been deceased since at least June, and the daughter had the corpse dressed in her Sunday best, rotting in a dead bolted bedroom. The news article said that the mother died from natural causes. The daughter was taken to an inpatient psychiatric facility. What the fuck? The update came entirely out of left field. Yet this lady's timeline made perfect sense, as the daughter's behavior likely escalated not just because of the new child, but also because of the loss of her mother. And without her mother to care for her and keep Whoa. her in check, it allowed her actions to go way off the deep end, as by the end, she had clearly become completely That's delusional. Fine. However, this is Reddit, and with Reddit comes a slew of fake stories designed to go viral, which alone caused many to instantly write this whole situation off as a hoax. I mean, I would. But digging deeper, this doesn't actually seem to be the case, as some would find news articles outlining a virtually identical situation. Kind of fucking nuts. On the evening of January 29th, a welfare check was conducted at the home of 65-year-old Cynthia Newman. The lady had not been seen in months, and it wouldn't take long for police why to did figure it take out so why. Long? One article wrote, The body of Cynthia Newman, 65, was found in a reclining chair with a pillow under her head and body. She was covered in blankets in an attempt to cover the body from sight. Newman's body Should was I covered with insects and showed significant signs of decay, including exposed bone and places where skin was starting to peel off. Man. It also appeared that animals living in the house had started to gnaw at the corpse. Quack. Also within the home was Cynthia's daughter, 41-year-old Jacqueline yes. Bebout, who had been living with the corpse for over seven months, too. never reporting it to authorities as she, quote, didn't want to be alone. According to the articles written on this, Dude. Cynthia had died due to natural causes, though her daughter would still wind up being arrested yeah. on charges of I mean, failing to report human remains. That's with crazy. sentence landing her Mood. in a mental health facility. <sighs> wow. But hearing this story side by side with these two threads, well, it all adds up right down to the month that she claimed it happened, leaving me without a shadow of a doubt that this was in fact real. And as I read OP's post once more, what it becomes the clear that the strong stench that she was smelling was the smell of a decaying Cat. body. And with this context, what Sit started as just an obscure forgotten post on Reddit has now shifted into one of its more twisted threads. That's crazy.
Yo, you're saying... Okay, let's debrief. You're saying that for months, this lady was banging on the door. Banging on the door. You called the cops. Cops was like, nah, Yo, I'm good. Cat. I'm good, right? And for months, they were just like, nah, I'm good, right? And then randomly, they just come through and they just enter. And they're like, oh shit, dead body. 